Ah. Real Monsters is a platform arcade-style video game developed by Real Time Associates and published by Viacom New Media in 1995 for the Mega Drive, Genesis and Super NES based on the American cartoon series of the same name on Nickelodeon. Story In order to graduate from Monster Academy, three young monsters, Ikus, Oblina, and Crum, need to pass their monster midterm exam. This test has them scaring a number of people that their headmaster, the Gromble, orders them to in order to pass the exam. <laughs> Gameplay Playing as Ikus, Oblina, or Crum, the player explores various locales collecting specific items and scaring specific people the Gromble instructs the player to. The character starts out in the sewer, and progresses through levels above in the human world. There are 25 levels and 5 bonus sections. Players can switch between each character at will and each has their own special ability that often can be used to solve puzzles or overcome obstacles. Ikus can fly for a short time, Oblina can reach high ledges, and Crum can scan off-screen areas. The monsters can also perform team moves, such as stacking on top of one another to reach items normally out of reach. The character's main weapon is trash, which they can hurl at enemies. Collecting garbage sacks and fish bones gives a limited amount of stronger ammo, triple trash, throwing three pieces of trash at once. Collecting monster manuals will allow them to perform a scare, which defeats any enemies on screen, spooking them into running for their lives, or takes a certain number of hit points off a boss's health. Each monster's scare is unique and based on their favorite scare tactics from the series. Oblina pulls large amounts of garbage from her stomach and tongue, Ikus grows tall and more ominous, and Crumb makes a stink cloud. The goal of the game is to finish all levels and find all the items to pass the exam, including defeating a boss target at the end of the final level above ground, with the final boss being, in most cases, the monster's sworn enemy, Simon the Monster Hunter. Between each level, the Gromble appears next to a projector, showing the name of the next level. Some of the Gromble's actions can be controlled at this point. The game contains small samples of speech at some points, possibly taken from the series. The Gromble speaks at the projector, and the characters speak during their scare, and when hit. Reception Reviewing the Super NES version, Tommy Glide of GamePro called the game, run-of-the-mill platform hopping. He criticized the level design, choppy scrolling, weak backgrounds, and stiff controls, and found the high-quality music and sounds to be the one positive note. See also Ah. Real Monsters List of Sega Genesis games List of Super NES games <laughs>